I, I, I spent 30 years studying this thing. And I discovered life is very simple, simple, life is simple. God hid everything that a thing supposed to become in itself. So your future is not ahead of you. It's trapped on the inside. A forest is not ahead of the seed. It's in the seed. Your future is in you, been there all along, but there's too much noise. So as you get home, clink, remote on. In the car, boom, 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 boom. So as you come out of the car, friends, yap, 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 yap. God is saying, man, this is a lot of noise for the last 50 years. I can't even get to this person. How did God get to talk to Abraham? God says, leave your home. Let's talk in the mountain. See, the reason why you can't discover you, even your, what you were born to do is because you don't even make time to discover it. Sometimes that's why God would allow you to get sick and trap you in the hospital for a couple of weeks on your bed. And then you finally hear God's voice for your life. Because you, you don't take no time. And by the way, uh, please get that book on prayer. It's very important. Because, did I lose that? In the name of Jesus. Because it is important for you to understand that God doesn't play uh, cat and mouse games with us. He wants you to know what you were born to do. So you got to write it down. You have to write it down. It might be the plug. Now, this book on prayer. Oh, you got one here. The book on prayer. Write this down, please. Write this down. It's going to be very shocking for some of you, but please write it down. Meditation, meditation, write it down, meditation is the most important aspect of prayer. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Most of you never meditate. Never. You talk too much in prayer. <laughs> you never hear from God while you're talking. And 99% of your prayer is you talking. And when you finish talking, as far as you're concerned, the exercise is over. So you leave. Please buy this book. Let me tell you, your dream is never revealed to you while you're talking. And we think prayer is talking. May God have mercy on us. I want you to go back home changed. Are you? Yes. I said, are you? Yes. When you go to prayer again, please pray 10 minutes and sit for 60. And just listen. You'll be amazed how loud he speaks. Finally, he gets to talk. Meditation. Prayer is you talking. Meditation is you listening. Suppose you and I have a conversation. You come to see me to ask for some things. You tell me everything and there's no way for me to even tell you what I want to do. You just leave. That's stupid, isn't it? We do it to God all the time. And God goes and says, ah, ah, Wait, don't go. I didn't answer you yet. Where are you going? Wait. And you're gone. You think you already did your prayer time. See? And you keep asking God, how come I'm not hearing from you? How come I'm not getting any direction from you? God saying, because you don't, even, you, don't, you don't wait for the directions. You give me instructions. Is this good? Yeah.